Hola amigos, ¿cómo estás? Rico hombre número uno. 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 Español que cuina y estoy aprendiendo español. ¿Comprende? Es en works. But yes, how is everyone doing? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. I certainly am. In this video, I'm going to be doing a reflective uh, video. You know, I already did like a five year reflection video, but I'm going to talk a bit about like a video that I made in uh, almost eight months ago. It was the summer of the worst year for everybody. I already had a worst year in 2017, but the worst year in 2020, in 2020, the summer of. Um, uh, July 2020, you know, so what happened um, last year um, with me, I remember when I made that video um, uh, called Toxic Family Members, you know, a funny thing about that video was uh, my main man, uh, well, he's one of my main men, you know, in the long group of the Rich Team, uh, he made a video called like the uh, toxic, uh, you know, family members, you know, King Richards, you know, um, who's doing extremely well, you know, kudos to King Richards, you know, I mean, like, I know them uh, sisters are giving you like, you know, a lot of like aggro when you're doing those calling shows, but keep it up, it's entertaining, you know, entertains the hell out of me, you know, but when I made that uh, video, yes, last year, I was really responding to like all the chaotic circumstances, the environment I was in where I was back in my homeland. And I used that time to express like mainly just my anger and frustration, which I've been dealing with, you know, for so, so many years. You know, um, as I said, at that time, um, it was one, two, three months I'd um, come back from uh, Canada. You know, and if you check my five year reflection, I talk about like how like my family, how my family members specifically kind of went out of their way to kind of sabotage my kind of dreams, my aspirations and my goals. You know what I mean? But then they still wanted kind of my help to stay within that kind of family, you know, uh, group, you know what I mean? Like, oh, we can do all this to you, but you've got to go back because you have to stay within, you know, family values, you know what I mean? And it's just, um, it's interesting where I look here because I believe if I wasn't, you know, I talked about this on my five-year reflection about like, having a backbone. This is a serious thing that any rich team member needs to have. Because at the time I've been getting fucked, you know, in the, you know, like really fucked from all sides, think it was like khaki or something, by a lot of these corrupt individuals from Sierra Leone, it was always dropping my, it was always dropping my self-esteem down, you know, when I got to uh, Florida, you know, 2019, I was like, fuck the UK, I'm not coming back. When I tried to ask for support from so-called family, they didn't help me get to Canada, spend almost four months there, um, just over four months. I only had to, I had to return back due to the COVID, but they didn't help me with like uh, my visa. They didn't tell me you needed to get a lawyer. So I came there completely ignorant, completely of this to what was like how to get like a, you know, to stay in there, you know? And I, I talk about this, um, in, you know, extensively, you know, about how, like, I was trying to leave UK since 2016, you know, I came to Canada 2015, I was like, okay, I'm going to try and move here, you know, so I had to spend a good five years in a country I never, ever wanted to be in, and I had to um, just hold in my, um, you know, frustration, you know, I, I talk about, uh, you know, I said about, like, um, you know, that I had relationships with girls that I never, ever allowed to go further because I was like, I'm not trying to settle down. I'm not trying to get married in um, Union Jack shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not trying to stay there. You know what I mean? So I had to sacrifice so many times, so many times just like putting my heart, my passion into like doing videos, doing fitness, you know, making my brand, you know, all of this. I had to do this, you know, and... And, you know, these are, as I said, even then, because as you can see me from, like, when I made that vid, um, 
you know, eight months ago. Um, you can definitely tell, like I said, I'm in, you know, CDMX, you know, these are treat me. You know, even though I'm not blood with some people, I could feel like uh, there's a tight knit family, you know, but um, it, it goes on, you know, where I like go on to this is like, um, you know, as I've like put in the title, I've said like the, the issues I've had specifically um, in, you know, Sierra Leone, you know, Sierra Leone. And like I said, I'm, I'm not saying this is just West Africans or, you know, North Africans, East Africans, excuse me. I'm just saying specifically um, West Africans, you know. The bullshit I've had to deal with, in my opinion, has been criminal. You know, as I've said, you know, and, you know, I'm not, I'm not someone, uh, if anyone knows Ricky Rich, like, truly, you know, I'm someone who's, like, very, like, uh, what you see is what you get. You know what I mean? Some people think I'm, like, you know, goofy. You know, some people think, like, um, you know, maybe I... I'm not saying I don't take myself too... You know, I don't take myself too seriously anyway. You know what I mean? Like, um, I'm unique. You know, it's, like, what I get from a lot of people. And I just feel like um, I'm someone who likes to beat my own drum. You know what I mean? But it's, like, what you see, like, when you see me, like, make these videos... Um, it, it, it pretty much is me, you know what I mean? I think that's where I've been able to get to, like, this amount. And I know I will be able to get to 10,000 subscribers, you know what I'm saying? But what I found out, what I really did, especially, like, from, like, um, because it was a lot of problems I've had, like, with my, like, eternal, you know, toxic family members, you know, like, from my own um, perspective, I found that Sierra Leone, like, people which Sierra Leone, I found, like, the Sierra Leone people that I was um, surrounded with were just the most corrupt, dishonest people I ever, and I mean, ever met, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, like, um, you know, when I was, it felt like I was in a continuous battle with these generations, you know, and when I'm talking about this, I'm talking about like the aunties, the uncles, even some of these like um grand um <laughs> parents. I was in this kind of endless torment battle and me who's like, you know, um mid twenties, early twenty, um mid twenties, late twenties, no sorry, me who was there like yeah, you know, through my twenties, battling with them and then still trying to enjoy my life. I had to sacrifice so much just to ultimately believe, like, as I made that video, I needed to kind of get away from them to basically have my own life, you know? And as I said in that bit, you know what I mean? Because it's funny, every time I watch that, I always stop and I don't, like, kind of react. It's just like I'm 100% zoomed in because it's one of those bits like I was talking from my heart, you know what I mean? Um, talking about, like, just the, uh, you know, the pain of um, going... Um, Sierra Leone, dealing with like the, you know, the village girl, um, you know, not getting to Canada, um, not getting support with like all my kind of business ventures, you know, I, I feel it, you know what I mean? And it's like, um, it's an important thing because I know there's a lot of um, Sierra Leone and even like West African uh, dudes who go through that, you know what I mean? Because especially like within my family, there's no real kind of like role models. You know what I mean? The ones above me, they never paid. You know, I mean, it's weird how you can, like, kind of determine success. You know, is it like if you appear on magazines, you appear on billboards, if you appear on, um, you know, television, you know what I mean? If, you know what I mean? If you're, they, you know, they show, oh, yeah, yeah, this guy's the chick. It's just that most of the people, like, above me, like, the generation above me, they went about shit. And it took me, like, at least five years to kind of understand that. Because, you know, when you're, like, you know, um, Jordan Peterson said this, Jordan Peterson, Peterson said this, even when you're in your 20s, you know, you got time to, like, fuck up, you know, you still like learning, so, you know, you don't have, like, a good grip on how the world actually, you know, works, you know what I mean, and it wasn't until, like, you know, the age of, I'm this now, like, late 20s, early 30s, I started to understand that these are have been full focused on going to these ceremonial parties, spending money that they know and i know that they don't have but they're trying to make a picture that because of that you know because they're older like you should obey and you should listen to them like you know darth vader controlling their minions you know and you know with the situation with all the shit, you know nonsense i had to deal with 2017 you know i was able to kind of you know as the roommate said cut the umbilical cord you know and 
there is so many people, so many, and I'm talking to the Africans, um, you know, specifically, you know, as a whole, so many of them, they have no kind of like a vision of what they're doing. You know, if you sometimes ask them, they'll be like, oh, I've done this. Oh, because my mother said this would be a good job. Oh, you know, I became uh, an accountant because my dad um, said, you know, this was a good job. You know what I mean? And you see like a lot of them, um, even the ones who are kind of in the music industry, you know, they do come back to Africa. That's cool. But some of them, they kind of make music because, again, it's what their parents say. You know what I mean? So you, you meet like a lot of, uh, and I, I, I know it's so much, you know, it's like, because I used to go to African parties, you know, Syrian so party. I had to slowly um, kind of break away with this. And hear me out. I always felt with like the, the you know, Syrian and like, you know, the Africans, the West Africans, you know, they were like, um, it's like a spider web, you know, once you're stuck on, unless you're able to kind of like, you know, if you have to cut your arms, legs and pull yourself off, you can't detach with them. So your thinking will be their thinking 100% of the time, you know, there's some days I had this when I was at my um, yard. And I knew that I had to kind of do this uh, video. I knew I had to, you know, on Photoshop, you know, I had to kind of like make and design my own shirts. You know, I had to spend long times, con you know, concentrating, doing a sketch, putting it up, you know, going through the edits and that. And I was sometimes drawn to go to these, like, they call it like a sarah, you know, weddings, birthday parties, Christmas, baby showers, you name it. If you ask me now, Rich, do you know any of them who you went to, like, the baby shower christening? The answer is a big fat no. Do you know what I mean? I was going there just because I was with their kind of toxic family, you know? And, again, it takes an individual who has a backbone to say, on this, I am not going. I got moves, you know? It's not, like I said, it's not, you know, when this was, like, 2015, 2016, like I said, you know, I had, like, uh, what was it like 17 subscribers, but I saw it, you know, what I mean, I was like, I knew I can uh, You know make something that no one else is doing, you know, what I mean, so I knew but it's, it's a process, you know But with a lot of um, and this is how we have Africa specifically They just like go on the coast, you know, what I mean, they will dress the way their parents tell them to dress They will walk the way they tell them to walk and they will date with the parents um you know, say they should date, you know what I mean? I was told specifically by the people above me that, Rich, you must be with a Syrian young woman. And you would ask them, like, and I, and it used to fuck me up in my head, you know, because I was like, um, I would be, as I said, in UK, I was trying not to get locked down because I was trying to take my black ass out of there. So any kind of chick I was with, it was always kind of temporary, you know what I mean? Like the Italian girl I was with just before I came here, it was kind of temp, you know what I mean? Because I was like, no, nah, I've got, man's got big plans. You know, I could not get locked down at least in all a piece of shit place like the United Jet, you know, uh, United Ship, United King shit, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? So, like I said, there was a lot of times, um, not just like, you know, uh, parents, aunties, uncle, like the whole kind of Sierra Leone, like Echelon, they would tell me like, you know, you've got to be with a Sierra Leone woman. It doesn't even matter if they, you know, uh, attractive, not attractive, you have chemistry, they know it, it, none of that. They just believe like on the hierarchy, you know. And like I said, it helped when I went Sierra Leone, you know, I mean, from the years of 2016 to 2018. It helped, like, I had an Italian girlfriend, it helped, I had a Spanish girlfriend, you know, it helped that I um, was able to kind of see these kind of different kind of walks in life, you know, because. With like a lot of um, West Africans, they always stick just in one lane. You know what I mean? And excuse me. Whew. Going up here. They always stick in one lane. Like, um, okay, if I'm Sierra Leone, I should only listen to Sierra Leone music. I should watch that Nollywood. You know what I mean? And you know, I should only listen. Uh, you know, to like basically the. Um, of a philosophy of Syrian young people above me and you know I, I do kind of get that to a degree because like I said if you come to America 
you know, even in Mexico now, you know, majority of Mexican people will listen to, you know, Mexican people above, you know, they will listen to the Mexican music, you know, they'll listen to Mexican, you know, politicians, you know what I mean, you know, keep it ingrained. But this is where the difference is, you know, you know, Africa is, and I hate to say this, but it's the truth, you know, you know, you can watch Water Mayor, and I love Water Mayor, you know, I'm subscribed to him. Water Mayor shows like the kind of bright side of Africa, you know what I mean? If you've actually been there, you know what I mean? And like I said, I've been to Gambia, I've been to Sierra Leone, been to Liberia, I've been to Morocco, you know what I mean? So my, I know what I'm talking about, you know, but with like, you know, and I love Water Mayor, and don't get me wrong, but these videos show the real bright side of like how, you know, Africa is, which is good because like, you know, they always show like the dark side through you know, te television commercials, you know, the poverty and that, but there is a corrupt, real huge corruption when you're on the streets, you know, if you check some of my vids when I went to Susan Bay in, um, you know, what was it, the um, downtown of Sierra Leone, you know, there was a lot of stuff that I didn't even put in camera because it wouldn't, <laughs> it wouldn't be good for YouTube viewers, you know, there is a lot of like kind of wasa wasa stuff that happens you know within the heart of um not just in syria you know, but in west africa but as i was saying like you know when you know mexicans and americans and even chinese people they will listen to a bar africa in general is a corrupt place you know it's the largest continent it's like um one of the most organic you know it's the root of natural resources but it is 100 percent fucked you know, these people will go there to eat each other, you know. I saw it when I was there, you know. I've seen the difference from being here in Mexico to Africa, you know what I mean? These people would just see me, um, you know, how I'm like, you know, charismatic, you know, you know, they're goofy, you know what I mean? And they would get jealous, you know. And what it is, is they would get jealous in a way that would kind of walk, weasel um, behind you to try to find you at your weakest time to you know you know ruin you sabotage you you know what i mean and this was as i said this was family members i was dealing with you understand like trying to just go out of their way because as if anyone knows me i'm not really someone who plays you know politics i'm a strong believer um you know the cream rises to the top you know if something's good it will even if it's not now it will find a way to make it to where it should rightfully be placed you know what i mean but i could see when i was winning um sierra leone when i was going to them sierra leone parties a uh, common place in london is campbell where all these sierra leones and sierra leones are nested i could see sometimes the jealousy when they would see someone like me who could kind of like you know I'm not saying he was like bigger than them but he, it's like i had my shit together you know what i mean i was already working in uh gyms uh 20, 2015, you know, I was doing, I was, I was making good money when I was working in the gym, you know, able to go to Canada, able to go to Switzerland, able to go to Africa, able to go to America, you know what I mean? So I wasn't someone who, who was like, oh, there's a Sarah on Sunday, but I've got work. I'm going to go to the Sarah and miss, uh, miss the chance to, especially working in a place that I like to do in the gym. I'm going to go to a Sierra Leone party move out of my face you know and that's where i um kind of guarded myself because i was just more confrontation confrontational and you know and looking back um i i, I sometimes look at like um if i if i didn't fight those battles i would not be in this position now where i can wake up when the fuck i want I can go to my bank and withdraw, you know, you know, I mean, I'm not, you know, like rich man is, you know, he's number one, but, you know, obviously I'm not on that level yet, but still it's like, um, there is a convenience when I can go to my thing and like this, there's, there's funds there, you know, whereas, you know, uh, if we go like, uh, pass back, you know, like five, um, five, three, yeah, like three years ago, there was a lot of sacrifice. Like sometimes when I had this money, I had to associate with my people family that were not doing nothing for me we're not trying to move me ahead not trying to you know what i wanted to accomplish they weren't trying to help me in any other form you know what i mean and you would see that you would see like i would i remember when i was in canada um 
the one I was uh, that deadbeat I was staying with, he's one of them. As I talked about the, you know, um, they just kind of just follow their parents. You know, they say like, ah, you know, this is a burning building. You know, but um, I believe you can um, get like a, I can't even think, but you know, they would basically listen to them to a T. You know, and they begin become like uh, I learned this from my ex, Taniana Kuma Monas. They would become like mommy's voice. You know, so I had to deal with that for like um a good like we're talking about like a like a decade, you know what I mean, of these kind of like, you know, closed doors because people used to ask me, you know, when I was at working, because it felt like when I was at home you know, that Sierra Leone kind of lifestyle. And when I would go to like the work, you know, the, the white man's world, it's like I was wearing a mask. You know, a lot of those white guys, people, they don't know the nonsense and bullshit and corruption guys like me had to deal with. Uh, when I was in, um, you know, uh, you know, when I was in Sierra Leone or with, with them amongst those Sierra Leone people. So a lot of them, they, I, I wouldn't say they were ignorant, but they were just like, um, you know, what's, you know what's up you know what i mean and it's, it's again it's something that um you know there's a there's a white guy named richard there's a mexicano named ricardo you know there's like an asian person who <laughs> probably is named rich or something they don't have to sometimes deal with the difficulties of coming up in an african um household you understand and i know how bad it is even to this day like I, to this day that i can't you know I, I'm not saying I get like nightmares because he used to keep me up at night, you know what I mean? Because I used to I used to have these kind of thoughts. I was like, man, I know there's a guy around my age in Mexico or in China. They ain't going through none of these difficulties, you know? And it's like when you actually, as I said, when I was um, with my Italian uh, girlfriend and she introduced me to her family, I started to see like, wait, so they don't have... You know, they don't have this kind of shit that I've been dealing with. Like, you know, they're not being forced to go to like, um, and it's, it's, you know, she wasn't forced to go in the Italian party. Um, she could date who she wanted. You know what I mean? And she wasn't told by like, and she was, um, she was a karate, um, uh, you know, she was a karate fighter. Her parents put her into karate when she was like a kid. And I was like, wow, I never got that support. You know what I mean? Like I said, I've been modeling um, since like uh, 2010. You know, I know there's um, there's uh, Italian mod. There's a there's there's models now who have been put in as like a kid. You know what I mean? Five, six, seven year olds. They've already been print media. So by the time they're 20, they've already been more experienced. I had to start late because I put myself in there. You know what I mean? So when I started to like be with uh, my Italian Italian girlfriend and you know, my Italian ex and like, you know, me and these other, uh, you know, people who are not African, you know what I mean? I started to understand that it was completely corrupt. And, you know, it used to wake me up at night, you know, when I was stuck in that miserable country, I used to be like, you know, this, this, this can't be it. You know, there, there is something, it's like when you put that game in and you know it works, you know, you're still blowing that cartridge. But you're just like, you know, why is why is everything messed up like this? You know what I mean? I would I would just ask these questions, especially now when I'm out here in Mexico. I would just ask these questions like, why is it that this is this way? Why is it that oh you had a fight with this person and you just disown them? You know, which is a common thing in a you know, as I saw in the West African tradition. You know, if they kind of wronged you, they would just kind of disown them, even if they're right. You know, one guy even told me this when I used to work as a kitchen boy. He said one of the biggest problems with Africans as a whole, if you make sense to them, they'll try and destroy you. Especially if you're like a, uh, you know, uh, it's like I said, like, I'm, you know, African, but I'm like in the first world. You know what I mean? It's like, um, you know, Killmonger up in here, you know, hey auntie, you understand? So if you kind of see how Killmonger is like in Black Panther, Killmonger's not wrong. You know what I mean? He is not wrong in that film. You know, this is where, they, and, and that's why um, that Black Panther film, it really, really spoke to me. You know what I mean? Because Killmonger is just avenging what happened. His dad got slain, you know, they could have like put him in a cage, you know, lock him up, and then they left him there, you know, so he had to grow up there, he didn't have the mom, he didn't have no support. 
So you cannot look at Killmonger, um, you know, Michael B. Jordan's character and be like, oh, you know, why is he has all this anger, has all this rage, you know? You you not need that. You originate. Even um uh, God rest his soul, Chadwick Boseman, he even tells them, you know, his father and the ancestors in that summit, he tells them, You were wrong. All of you were wrong. You know? And that's what happens a lot in these African uh, you know traditions, you know what I mean? And I, I know it's not just in Sierra Leone. A lot of people are kind of scared to say like what's going on. You know, because again, they, they're worried about their position in life. They're worried about getting the money, you know. But they just, they just don't have the freedom such as I have to kind of say. You know what I mean? And I, I, I could, I, as I said, I, that was one of the best. Um, when the Black Panther film came out, we talked about this in the five year reflection. I went to Africa a month after that movie, you know, and I had that in my mind. I was like, you know, I could I could see like where this corruption is, and I I remember saying then even then before I came to Mexico, I said this isn't happening in Mexico, this isn't happening in China, this isn't happening in Eastern European countries. But why is it happening in Africa? You know what I mean? You know, there's a reason why um African and Black people are in the bottom. You know, because of a bullshit, corrupted um you know motives or corruptive decisions such as this. You know, stuff that I've had to deal with. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm the time I will explain all the trash I have to do, they have to put me in CNN because a lot of the stuff that happened to me is criminal. If it was to happen in a first world, no, if it was to be in like a court of law, in like, you know, you know, white man rules, a lot of these uh, people would be in, um, you know, in prison, you know, but just because they, sh 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 they tell you to keep quiet, you know what I mean? Oh, hide it, hide it, hide it. You know, some of the, some of the people don't know. It's what they a lot of the Af, you know African like kind of parents. They'll tell their kind of kids or like you know nieces. Oh, sh sh you didn't see anything. You know what I mean? I oh, didn't see like the extra two women I hid in the closet. You know what I mean? Or kind of like um you know oh you know delete the message. You know you never saw it. You know even though that person has been married for thirty years. You know so it's a, it's a lot of nonsense that um. You know i had to deal with you know and as i said i'm not ashamed of being african you know i'm proud of being a Sierra Leone. it was always an honor to go there but where i'm not in a position you know i'm not in a position now uh where i have to be quiet anymore you know what i mean i'm not in fitness first i'm not in motherfucking sketches anymore i'm in cdmx baby you know you know i make my own money i'm my own fucking boss you know what i mean so I kind of do these videos now to encourage, like, um, yeah. I kind of do these videos now to encourage, like, um, any kind of um, Africans who have gone through this corruption. You can get out, you know, just because you're um, uh, black, you don't have to listen to what um, your parents or the ones above you have to say. You know what I mean? You know, hey, just think of it. How does it make sense if? You know, someone is born in a first world country and then someone's born in a third world country. Who do you think is going to have the higher intelligence? Just by environment. Just by saying. You know what I mean? And this is stuff I was saying to them even when I was a teen. You understand? But like, they don't want you to get kind of too far because it's a way you can kind of work for them when they do kind of get to that age. You understand? So it is, it's a tough, it's a tough break, you know, for like a lot of Africans because especially for me, I was trapped. Because as I said, um, you know, I did, I forced myself not to, you know, fall in that, like, kind of uh, jar, you know what I mean, of where, you know, you go to Syrian parties, you probably marry a Syrian woman you don't want to be with, you go to these weddings, these sarahs, bar mitzvahs, did I just say that, you know what I mean, but you just, you just tag along, sometimes due to prayer pressure, you know, so, but it's like I had to, really put my foot down you know what i mean when i was doing my stuff i said even if i'm alone you know even if i'm not with any friends i have a purpose you know and how you see me even like this that's how i was like five years ago um ten years ago i was like that you know i had to be a rebel you know i had to be crazy in some way and you know there's good crazy and there's bad crazy but i had to be a crazy to be to tell these lot you know in the bar you know, just because you're older than me it does not mean you know more than me. You know what I mean? You understand? And 
that's where that's where I've come, you know, to a conclusion now. You know, what I mean, like, um, you know, as I said, being in uh, Mexico is 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 really so outside of my comfort zone, but I enjoy it. You know, what I mean, I mean, people who um, it is just such a warmth. You know, like um, it is it's just so like um, a warmth and complete difference to when I was uh, surrounded by. You know my own people you know I, I look here it's like no one's really like kind of like you know jealous or kind of like criticizing me for no reason i'm able to walk free you know and it is again why what what nonsense i had to deal with in you know being surrounded with Sierra Leone people you know criticizing you just because uh, you are trying to kind of figure a way to kind of make it outside the parameters of the usually you know what i mean like um for instance like even before i came here i was doing like a couple of temp work there was a 65 year old african woman still working a job that i was working you know i'm like six generations um oh well six generations what i'm talking about but i'm like you know i was even asking her like why why would you need to because i know the equivalent of the white equivalent of you or even the asian equivalent of you is not working at that age and she was like, oh, you know, it's, um, this is easy. You know, I've got my two houses in Africa. And I said, that don't mean shit. Do you know what I mean? In Africa, you know what I mean? Let's, let's just be real. You know what I mean? I'm not being, I'm doing my own. If I wanted to go make a house in Africa, I could go do that. You know what I mean? But that doesn't make you a picture. Like, oh, you're, you know what I mean? If you really look at it, like, I've got a big house in Africa. Then I'm cleaning shit out of the toilet in a white man's country. You know, but you feel proud because you got a house in Africa. Why don't you stay there? This is what questions they won't ask you. They don't stay there because they know that if you stay in Africa for too long, you know you need to come back there because the money really runs out because of the people you surround your people you surround yourself with. You know, straight up in your face is people are asking you for money, 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 money. You know, it's a place you cannot be by yourself. I'm here right now by myself in Africa. You cannot do that. It's a jungle out there. So some of them kind of fit because they're older. They kind of, again, oh, you know, you're a kid. You know, you know what I mean? I got my house in Africa. You know what I mean? I'm just working this, you know, because, you know, I'm, I'm large. It's bullshit. You know what I mean? How does that work? You know, if like Bill Gates is um, here and he goes Africa, is he going to be there? No, no, no. It's only us people. And I just feel these are more discussions that needs to be had, you know, for um, especially like the... You know the diaspora or like you know just young um africans trying to make a move you know what i mean as i told them as i told many people i had to extract myself from that pollution you know because it stopped me from getting where i know i can achieve you know what i mean and it's not don't don't think of it as some people some people always look at it like them oh yeah you know this is bad but at the end of the day main priority for everyone is to look out for themselves you know so many times i was always kind of putting people over um i wouldn't say i kissed ass but like i kind of let people walk over me you know what i mean so it's like um i i always understood like if you can reduce conflict it will kind of make your life easier you know what i mean so sometimes like i said you know uh it's like i said if someone kind of like um you know if you're in the line in the post office and someone walks in front of you you know, and sometimes you can just kind of let it go. Depends, you know, in, in now I'm in Mexico, I could be like, you know, whatever. I'm just happy to be here. But, you know, being in UK, me in Sierra Leone, I'm thinking, man, I'll just like dash him into a sewer straight after. You know what I mean? And it's like I had to have that mentality when I was with those motherfuckers, that Sierra Leone community. You know what I mean? They would only respect you more when you could kind of be like, fuck you to their face. You understand? But there was times when I had to kind of let them walk over me because I was focused on YouTube, focused on my fitness, focused on making teachers, focused on doing my designs, focused on, you know, my modeling, all of that stuff. I had to put that in the back burner, you know, and it just, everyone has a breaking point. And, you know, my breaking point um, really was, you know, last year when I made that video, you know, so yeah. So yeah, guys, I thank you for, um, you know, taking time and you're busy, busy. And I'm in busy schedule to watch this vid. Um, leave your comments, you know, about, you know, the toxic family uh, video that I did last year. And, you know, just again, like um, if um, anyone who is in that kind of Sierra Leone or like African um, 
corrupted, you know, zone and they're finding it difficult to get out, you know, please message me, you know, because, you know, I said it and I'll say it again, you know, it's not fair for someone who has one life. It's only one chance. As far as I know, once I leave this plane, there will be no more, there will be no, there will be no rich man. You know what I mean? So you have to make the best of it. And if these blood suckers are going to suck the juice out of you until you get in Asia and you wish, oh, I wish I could have gone Mexico. Oh, I wish I could have gone Canada. Oh, I wish I could have, you know, um, seen the world. If these blood suckers are going to do that, you, you have to cut the umbilical cord. You know, I had to do it. You know what I mean? So, yes. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos, which trust me, which will come in very, very soon. And always remember that she came to me.